you were feeling my own herb when you got this opportunity. What's that transition been like going from playing Doc Holliday to now Luke? Uh, well, first of all, uh, you know, I laugh about it um, because uh, Doc Holliday doesn't say too much. You know, he's like uh, a brooding type of, uh, you know, almost sulking guy uh, who chooses his words uh, quite wisely. Uh, and, and there's, there's few and far between of them. Whereas Luke, Luke had a lot to say. Uh, and especially in those first couple of episodes where you got to like build it up and try to, you know, explain the story because it's not easy. You know, this is a balancing act between real estate and the paranormal. And uh, you're trying to get the audience up to date as quickly as possible. Um, yeah. So it was fun. It was definitely a challenge and uh, I was more than frightened. And uh, to be honest, that was when I found out Sarah Levy had the part, she was the first person I called. Uh, and I was just like, man, there's so much to talk about. And like her character, Susan, also had a huge workload. So that was like our immediate bond. We laughed about it because uh, from the show we did together also, Shit's Creek, our two characters were the two characters also that didn't really talk too much. Whereas on Surreal Estate, we talking. As the first season has progressed, we get to see the different layers of Luke unfold. How did you prepare to tackle his journey throughout that first season? Yeah, I mean, what a gift of a character. Can we just talk about that character? I mean, to be honest, um, I'm, I, I haven't skipped ahead, so I'm only as caught up as, as everybody else. So I think uh, this Friday will be uh, episode six. six yeah. yeah, so we're officially halfway through the season, and I'm a fan of the show. And I got to say, I know I was there on the day, but watching it, just incredible characters and performance and what a job the look of the show the direction i just think everybody really knocked it out of the park um and yeah these characters are just a gift there's so much depth there you know episode five was for luke to deal with the young boy uh who who you know uh lost their mom when he was trying to explain to the kid that he won't get to see the mom again after we realized from episode one that luke lost his mom at a young age and the relationship that he has with um that lady um you, you, you know or uh, or lack of um yeah i just thought it was just heart-wrenching and just the way it all came together uh, it's great because he can go from this salesman guy um you know and when someone's it's borderline I don't, I hope it doesn't come across like that, but it, it always has to me when someone's tried to sell me on something, it's a little sleazy, you know, you know, I'm like <laughs> sold on anything. So when we get to the heart and the vulnerability of stuff and um, characters, um, yeah, that's when you get me, <laughs> I'm a real softy. Uh, I think my favorite scene of the season, to be honest, was from episode four was uh, Savannah Baisley, the Zoe character and Sarah together when Zoe and, and Sarah have a heart to heart and Zoe explains her, her ex-boyfriend and uh, what a douchebag he was, but the effect it had on her. And just to see those two, uh, those two bonding and just Sarah listening, well, Susan listening to uh, Zoe, oh, I just loved it. Yeah, you know, Luke has a lot of really heartbreaking moments later in this season. As an actor, how do you prepare for those moments? I got a depth of pain. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I don't know, you know, to be honest, we've all lived. So we've all got stuff. I'm just connected to that. If I, if I, uh, being sad is kind of easy for me. I don't know if that's depressing, uh, but it's not because I'm really happy, positive person. Um, but I know where my sadness lives. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, and I know how I breathe when I'm sad. Uh, and I know where to go to get it. Um, so it's kind of, it's easier for me to do that, to be honest, sometimes than, than comedy. I find comedy is, is uh, science. It's like math. Uh, you know, I'm not good at math or science, um, but like, I'm good from the heart. I'm not, I'm not so good from the head, <laughs> but <laughs> good from the heart, which is difficult for other people. So, you know. And in each episode this season, the team tackles a new case slash house, which has been your favorite to explore from season one? Uh, 
I mean, the great thing is they're all so different, you know, yeah. so there's different pieces of, 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 of each of them, uh, you know, um, you know, episode five, I mean, this was some pretty serious subject matter we were dealing with, you know, so it was, it was really, it was just gut wrenching at, at times. Uh, and then episode one right off the, the bat was like the demon dog, which was as frightening as it is. It's still kind of fun and we're throwing pork yeah. chops and running. So I just love that they're all so different. I think my favorite one is probably going to be uh, in, in the finale because mm. it's so, uh, well, at least it was for me when I read the script, mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, I have a question for you about that one too. Uh, but there, there's so many important and relevant themes that the show tackles throughout the first season. Is there one in particular that hit home for you? Well, you know, I think for me, it's this, we're dealing with, like you said before, each episode a different, we'll call them demons, you know, external demons. But I think the thing that the show deals with really beautifully is the internal demons that people deal with and how these characters deal and rely on each other. Not only to, uh, in, in the work related of, of, of solving the case of the house, but also kind of relying on each other to get through the internal demons that they're battling themselves. Uh, and I think, you know, Luke and Susan lean on each other. And we saw Zoe and Susan doing it. And Adam, obviously, in August are like the duo of all duos. They might be my favorite duo. And now, you know, um, Megan and Luke have each other. They've kind of found each other at this point. And, 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 and I feel like everybody was kind of lost in this group, but together they're found. And I think that's important, you know, found family is sometimes more important than, than, than blood. I know we say blood is blood, but <laughs> if the blood is toxic. <laughs> There's a fantastic chemistry that comes off the screen between you and the rest of the cast. I know you've worked with some of them in the past, but how are you all able to build that bond? And then especially during a pandemic? Yeah, it's a great question. And I asked that question myself, Kevin. I, I like, I, I'll say this is a testament to Danishka uh, Denise Gaster Hazy and George uh, Olson, because they're, they're the, the, George is the creator and they're like the showrunners of the show and they were just so present and they put this team together. I remember the first, because of COVID and the pandemic, we didn't get a table read really. We didn't get a screen test together. Um, we did one Zoom read once and that was about the only time we could do it. Uh, and whoever was available was available. And uh, I remember when we shot the first uh, episode, the first scene we had all together was us in the Roman agency office, where it's all of us talking, introducing Susan. And I remember thinking, hey, this is clicking. And this was day like two, like I had my scenes by myself out at night with the hat in the rain. That was like my first two days of night shoots. But like my first day of work was that. And I remember thinking, oh, oh wow, this is clicking already. How did they know? Like. The chemistry's working. People have got their characters. Uh, we were all excited, I think, right off the right off the get go. And you know, the cool thing is, is we're kind of like the show. We've we're a found family already. Like we've got a group a group chat going, uh, you know, at all times. And and you don't always get that, you know, with 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 casts and shows. So uh, I think we're all fortunate. We all really like the show, and um, we're all really really hoping to come back. Yeah, and you touched upon this already a little bit earlier, but a lot happens in episode 10. What was your initial reaction when you read that script? <laughs> it was like, just like, honestly, my mind was blown. I wasn't ready because I always think I start putting things together and then they're never exactly what I think they are. And I think... Um, yeah, George is just really good. He's a really good writer. He is, he is a really good writer. And the team he put together to, to create what they did this season, uh, yeah, it was magical. Uh, I'm excited for people to get to the end.